friends, welcome to today's video. It's kind of a grayish day outside and I thought this would be a fun time to do a hair experiment. A hair experiment, which is a terrible sounding word. Uh, and this is just one of those really random things. I saw this at the drugstore or the grocery store when I was buying conditioner uh, and I was curious to try it out. And I thought this could be awesome, this could be underwhelming, or this could be horrible. And why don't I try it on camera so that all of you can see as well. So basically this is the John Frieda Radiant Red Red Boosting Conditioner that replenishes red tones with every use. I was thinking about this because, okay, let me tell you my hair journey. <laughs> um, I have my hair up right now because I need to go and shower. Um, but basically what will happen with me is I dye my hair. I get it dyed red at a salon that I love here in Ottawa and I love the way it looks when it's first dyed. And then a couple things happen is I try as hard as I can to keep those reds, red tones to stay but color doesn't stay super well in my hair and also red is like the hardest tone to keep when you have your hair dyed. So over time it fades out to being much more blonde which is kind of where it is now. Um, I'll just sort of my hair's not looking great, but I'll just take this down so you can see. Uh, it goes a little bit more towards being blonde. And quite honestly, I wouldn't really mind that very much. But the other thing that happens is that my hair is like more than 50% gray. So it's the regrowth that really gets me. And I guess my hair grows maybe relatively quick. Um, but this is basically one month since the last time I had my hair dyed. So this isn't really going to help with the gray. I mean, if it was the, the re, ah, oh, why am I having such a hard time talking today? The reason I end up having to get my hair done about every six weeks to two months, which is even then is really pushing it. But you know, I, I try not to spend that much money getting it done, uh, is mostly because of the gray. I wouldn't actually mind it. Like I don't mind it being a bit on the blonde side. It's the regrowth, which is why I end up getting it done more frequently. So this is supposed to deposit red color. So maybe it will help my hair stay that red color I like a little bit longer. It does say that this is not for root touch-ups, so I'm not expecting it to be some like magic cure-all. I was starting to think about this because I think I was watching some folks on YouTube. It may have been like old Jenna and Julian videos when Julian had his hair dyed like bright yellow or something like that. And I was curious about how the color stayed so vibrant. And they basically said that they put into their conditioner some of like the straight up hair dye and therefore it kept sort of dyeing his hair whenever he conditioned it. And I wondered why that wasn't more of a thing that we did for those of us who dye our hair. Um, why it isn't more of a thing that you can buy like conditioner with hair dye in it. So I thought maybe this is kind of what I'm looking for. That was a really long introduction for this video. Um, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I haven't done any research on this at all. I can tell you this cost me maybe about 12 to $15 when I bought it and it may have been on sale. It says on here that after washing with their red boosting shampoo, which I don't have, but I don't feel like, I feel like doing it with shampoo, it would just wash itself out right away. We'll see. Um, massage product evenly through wet hair from root to tip, leave on for at least one minute or up to 10 minutes for stronger results. Depending on the desired effect, use more or less product. What I am planning to do is I'm gonna hop into the shower, uh, wash my hair. Um, I'm trying to think about conditioning the rest of my hair now. I guess, uh, I don't know uh, how I'm gonna do this, but basically I'm going to, I think just condition the rest of my hair, but keep a couple strands of hair that aren't like super noticeable out. And then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna apply it uh, so I can leave some of it for five minutes and some of it for 10 minutes. And then we can see what actual result it has when I rinse it out. Uh, that's the plan. I'll figure this out when I'm in the shower a little bit more. In any case, I will see you back here afterwards for application and try not to get it on my sheets. See you soon. I am back. Does anybody else hate the feeling of their hair without conditioner in it? Yeah, so what I did was I washed all of my hair, shampooed all my hair, and I've not conditioned any of it. The part that I've put up, I'll put some good leave-in conditioner in, but basically I've pulled out two pieces of hair here, and I am going to apply the conditioner to one side, wait five minutes, apply conditioner to the other side, and then rinse them both out. So it should end up being five minutes for one piece of hair, 10 minutes for the other piece of hair. I also, just to try to keep things a little neater, brought in some aluminum foil to maybe like wrap the hair in. 
so that everything sort of soaks in and doesn't get on the other hair. Sorry about the noise there. I'm down to the last bit of my foil. Well, that's not perfect, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, I've got an old towel here. I'm not too worried about getting close to the root because it's at the back of my head. I don't know. Okay, so this comes out like purple. <laughs> really don't want to get this on my white sheets. I mean, I could use a um, comb to comb this in with, but if you were doing this in the shower, you wouldn't really have that. So I'm just like super saturating this piece of hair. And don't worry, this red towel that's around my shoulders is an old towel. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of try to wrap this up a little bit to keep it. And then I'll kind of all together there. Did that do anything? Kind of. Ugh. Okay, now I need to set a timer. Ugh. Uh, so you guys have seen what I've done. You don't need to watch me doing the other side. I'm gonna get the timer set, wait five minutes, do the other side, and come back at the end after I've blown it out and we can see the color. And I just got some on my sheets. I'll be back. So please excuse how crazy my hair is. I'm doing this to make a point. And also excuse how red my chest is right now. I was blow drying sections of hair and my hair was kind of up against my chest. So it got really, really red. I'm just gonna try to do that to not distract. So there is a difference. It is subtle, which I guess is a good thing. So let me adjust the camera here so you can see a little bit more of me. These are the two pieces that I did at 10 minutes and five minutes. There is red that is added to them. Wait, I'm gonna have to, there we go. Now you can see a little bit more. I don't see a huge difference in the tones. Let me find something white to put this up against. I'm gonna use the back of my white pillow here. So I don't see a huge difference in the tones between five and 10 minutes. Like it has, Add it red to them, but I think there's a little bit more of a deeper red on the side that was 10 minutes, but I honestly thought I might have to go back to the tape and see which side I did for the 10 minutes because I had kind of forgotten and I couldn't tell from just looking at the hair. So then when I did these, I thought, okay, it's hard to actually tell how much of a difference it is if we didn't actually look at hair that hadn't been done. So I took out a piece and dried it of the hair that had not been done with the red tone conditioner. And I feel like there you can really see that it did do a difference because you can see how blonde this is and the red tone that's added to there. I actually really like what it did in bringing some of the red back to my hair that has started to turn a little bit blonde. But if you put these three pieces together, I feel like you can see maybe a slight deepness of the red here, but not a huge amount and then really a difference against the untreated hair. So yes, <laughs> again, apologies for the crazy hair. And now I'm gonna take all of this out. I didn't dry the rest of this hair that's up here, but I'm just gonna take out all these little ponytails I have going on. I guess, I think this is good, but I have some, I wanna say warnings. So I did this in a pretty controlled environment where I got out of the shower, I combed it through, I made sure it was really saturated. In any environment where you're adding color to your own hair, I feel like you need to be extra careful to make sure it doesn't come out really patchy. If I was just in the shower doing this, I feel like I'd be mixing it all around and some of my hair would get more on it than the rest of my hair. So I see kind of wanting to, um, you know, shampoo your hair, turn off the shower, work the conditioner through, brush it through, make sure that it's really saturated all of the hair, and then maybe even put your hair up and like wrap it in, um, I've done this sometimes where I either put on a bath cap or wrap my head in like some saran wrap and then wrap a towel over it so you can let it sit for the five or 10 minutes. Do not get near any white colored things. This is a dye and it will dye things. I'm gonna have to take this comforter off later and really like scrub to get the red dye out of it because I did spill a little bit there. Um, also it does say this is not for root regrowth so I would be a little careful um, and maybe I'll report back on you guys what I find about this. Because I have white hair up here I, I need to see what happens when 
if I condition all over and get conditioner on my hairline, am I gonna have what is often referred to as hot roots? So is it gonna be like red and then like a more natural color or is it just not going to stick to the gray hair? I don't know about that. Um, and also, you know, this may be fun if you have like naturally blonde hair and you want to add a bit of red to it. I don't know how long it takes to wash out, but I'm pretty impressed with how subtle and like tone of red that this adds into my hair. So I'm going to continue playing with it. I mean, I think it's a good conditioner overall. Um, and I sort of see that if you are somebody who washes your hair every two to three days and you keep using this as your main conditioner, that might even take care of some of the patchiness because it could be that even if you're not letting it sit for 10 minutes every time, it says to do it for at least one minute. You know, if you do three minutes in the shower and you're doing it consistently every few days, then it could deposit like more and more red and maybe catch those areas that were a little bit patchy if it happened to be a little bit patchy. Uh, so I'm fairly impressed with it. There's a whole line of these. I believe there's also um, blonde and uh, brunette, maybe black hair, I'm not sure. So yeah. I think this is kind of good and I think this could be something that maybe helps extend the tone of my hair, if not the regrowth, which tends to be really my problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Uh, if you've not yet subscribed, please do so and I look forward to seeing all of you in my next video. Bye!